Hi, yeah, it's Golden Senchman here. So essentially, this video is a follow on video to the video I put on YouTube about my Hexel crawler, which is basically using Excel to generate a random hex crawl map. Now, I'm not going to say too much about that because it's something I've already covered in that video. What I didn't cover, and what I'm going to cover today, is this uh, DIY tab there. So, um, what you've basically got is a simple hex a simple map editor essentially so what you have is a series of commands here from one to six and if you prefer letters because they're more intuitive you've also got letters so you can put for example m for mountain or if you're happy with the number system you put six um, likewise you put a bit of forest here so as you can see you can you can build up a, 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 a simple hex crawl now i don't pretend that this is like some brilliant editor but it's it's simple and it's free and um, you can just crack on with it. Now, one thing that's a little bit of a wrinkle is that I've got these two zones, this outer zone and inner zone, because, for example, I've got two ones. So a one here will give you deep water, whereas a one here will give you shallow water. It's just a way of making it a bit more customizable. And likewise, I've got coast and lowlands. So um, there's also this blank feature, which means that it will basically scrub the whole lot, start again, so you're not happy with what you've done. That, that would be sort of the end of this video, apart from I decided that it would be quite nice to combine the editor with a semi-procedural way of generating a map. So, for example, what you could do, see, so here's my um, hex crawl generator. So what you could do, for example, is, I don't know, make that 0, um, make that minus 10, and this 12. So what I've done here is I've generated a procedural bit which gives me this sort of C-shaped kind of island. But maybe what you wanted to do was have some mountains in the middle, um, possibly with, um, I don't know, some C there. Now, why you'd want that, I don't know, but maybe you do. And so when you generate a new map, the bit in the middle is fixed because that's the bit you've set in stone, whereas the rest of this is sort of semi-procedural. Um, albeit you've tailored a bit using this sort of um, this 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 section here for the zone customizing the zones so once you sort of get to a, one of these images that you're sort of ah oh, quite like that one you think oh good so what I'll do is I'll hit this button here called DIY export so essentially what's that what's that do what that is doing is taking what you've got here and exporting it into the DIY tab um, so there you go so now you can go into the edit full editing mode again because now it's all fixed. It's not going to keep changing on you. So you could, for example, make a channel like that um, and possibly put a bit of C up here for what, you know whatever the reason you wanted to do that, you could. So now you say, right, good. I've now got the image I like. Um, in my other video, I'd also explain that there's this snap map feature. So if you hit that, what it'll essentially do is take a photograph of what you've done and it'll export it into a separate tab um, as essentially a sort of photo, I guess. So here it is. Um, there's the image, you can print it, I don't know, stick it on your wall, whatever you like. What I think is quite neat is you could cut it, you can put it into Word, um, you can then save as a picture, you can save that onto your desktop, let's call it one, then you can go back to here, um, go to um, page layout, delete the background, this is holding background, insert the background that you just saved, or the image, you, the map you just made by browsing to wherever you saved it. So you put it on the desktop, there you go. Now the neat thing about this is that I've arranged the, the um, squares to match the picture which is now in the background. Um, and what you can that therefore that gives access to actually putting you know labels in the squares now so you know that could be your ratman village and that could be your npc hut so you could also um, insert a comment so you've got um rat whoops ratman what did i say ratman village <laughs> i don't know what i said um <clears throat> and you could insert here um what was it NPC hut, whatever you like, and therefore when you hover over it, those those buttons appear. So there you go, simple editor with this sort of feature where you can generate procedurally. Let me know what you think. Um, 